My name is Rabab and I am from London and I am on Moss. So um, my perfect partner, he has to be religious, um, God-fearing, family-oriented, caring, responsible. So my best halal date. So it was my second date with this person. We met in London and then I travelled to Bristol to see him. So we managed to go to historical places. We walked around, we, take, we have taken a few pictures and we went for a meal. And bless him, he got me a little present at the end. Uh, it was my favourite perfume. <laughs> My worst date was with this person and um, I remember he came late and during our day he was talking more about himself rather than just asking and directing questions to me so it was more to do with him um, and at the end, at the end of our uh, date, he made me pay 50, <laughs> 50 of the bill which you shouldn't do at the first date. I think when I go on those, I personally look at the pictures first, of course, and I go through um, whatever he's written around about himself, uh, personality-wise, his likes and dislikes. I would like to know his hobbies, what he likes to do in his free time, his educational level, and also um, I pay attention as well to his uh, rel uh, religious level, such as prayers and of course if he's eating halal food all the time. So, something that would put me off uh, when I see uh, a profile without description. Uh, I think if you want to know and then get to know the right person, you have at least to make effort and talk about yourself and put like a description about who you are what you do, what you like and dislike, to make yourself more interesting. At least I need to know what the person is like, what he likes and what he dislikes. Maybe we could have a common ground and we can take it from there.